hello guys welcome to beginners guide in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create this glowing social media icons using CSS so without further ado let's get started I'm going to open my text editor there is a folder there glowing CSS let me create a HTML file and then I'm going to create a CSS file let me create the basic boilerplate to here so the title I'm going to say uh, as you can see them here uh, these are social media icons in internet there are a lot of websites where you can get the social media icons but I would prefer to get them from font awesome website so type font awesome click the first link in case if you don't know how to access the font awesome I have the tutorial video for the same I will drop the link in the description uh, actually I have an account with the font awesome so it will be very easy for me to get the icons from there so let me show you how so here is the font awesome website first I'm going to get the CDN for this font awesome for that I'm going to my account here and then click font awesome CDN then scroll down there so this is a CDN for us to use the font awesome icons click here it will be copied come to your HTML document paste them after the title that's it so now we need icons uh, here we have icons such as Twitter Facebook Instagram and LinkedIn so let us get those icons so just go up there click the icons button or even here you can search so let's say I want to search for the Facebook icon click Facebook so that it will give us the Facebook icons so there are different types of icons choose whatever the icons that you want to use let's say I'm interested in this one let me click so this is a place where you're going to copy this is a class name for the Facebook icon so just copy and paste them in your HTML document so where are you going to paste I think we just in the body section what we can do maybe we can create a div I'm going to name the class name as container so within this div I'm going to paste that Facebook so this is for the Facebook but in the actual design as you can see them here we have Twitter uh, Instagram and LinkedIn so not necessarily you need to go and copy them if you want you can do the same just type the Instagram in the search icon it will give you but basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy and paste I'm going to just change the names so here instead of Facebook square what I want them is Instagram so when you type them it will suggest you actually so I need the icon for the Instagram as well as I need the icon for the LinkedIn so when you say uh, this one LinkedIn then the first icon was a Twitter right so let me put them here so instead of Facebook square what I want them is a uh, Twitter that's it just save and open with a browser let's see how does this one would look like here we go all the icons that we are looking for is here let me just close this one and let me split the screen so that it will be easy for us to uh, understand as well as let me wrap the text so that's good so we just need to style so for that what I can do initially let me link the style sheet here we go here initially I want to remove the default margin and padding and then box sizing is going to be a border box that's it now I'm going to target the body section I've seen some nice background color there in the original document so let me set the background so this is a background color I want to use and let me set the height and width I think that's okay let me save and refresh so that we will see okay the background color is there we have set the width and height so let me just style this container class because I want those icons to be displayed in the center of the page so what I can do let me just copy and paste the height and width and then I want them to be displayed in the center of the page so for that justify content is going to be center align items is also going to be center and then maybe font size I 
let me say eight twelve. So let me say one refresh so that you will see. Okay, uh, that's much better. And then maybe just say the display property. I want to say this one as a flux. Okay, now it's there in the center. Uh, so far, so good. So now let us focus on each of these icons. So that we can style them accordingly so what i can do in the html document let me give the id of each of those icons so id here i'm going to call this one as a twitter basically i'm giving the id name just to style them nicely so i hope you remember the ids for the ids we need to use the hash the first one is a twitter second one is the facebook and then third one is uh, Instagram final one is the LinkedIn this is what I want to style so what we can do maybe let me set the background color so background color let me give the same color that I have given them initially then from there well, let us do the back shadow property so this back shadow property is the one who is going to give us the that glowing effect Right, so I hope you know the box shadow property. So this is a box shot of property which is going to give us that glowing effect then let me set some border radius I would say maybe 29 pixel let me set some padding and margin so top and bottom is going to be 11 pixel left and right is going to be 19 pixel the padding the margin will be uh, top and bottom let's say 0 maybe left and right let me say 40 pixel then let me say and brand so that you will see how does this one look like okay that's good almost same like this one uh, just that these things they are black in color i mean the icons they are black in color so i want them to be displayed as a white color so that it will give you that glowing effect so basically here what i'm going to do i'm going to set the color property to white so when i save and refresh Yes, now it's white but it's not as same as the way that you can see them here because this one the glowing effect is nice so here there is no glowing effect so for that what we can do let us use the text shadow property which will give us the glowing effect so for that text shadow I hope you know the properties so this is the property so this is a color so that the text shadow will be in this uh, color so let me just copy and paste and I, I will just change the values because we have four icons I'm going to apply four times for four icons so that we will have the proper text shadow property so here I would say instead of 50 pixel I would say this is 200 pixel this is 50 let me make this one 200 and then this 50 let me make it to 150 so that I'm trying to apply uh, different size for the different icon so that we will have the proper text shadow so now let me refresh as you can see them here uh, we are managed to create a social media icon with a glowing effect that's it guys I hope you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.